what it was like in the seconds before the crash landing. Today at the news conference it was all about the crucial seconds after they hit the ground and what is emerging is a picture really of confusion amongst the cabin crew and especially on the issue of whether the passengers should be evacuated immediately from the flight and it seems that the passengers were initially told to stay seated while the crew contacted the control tower and in fact people didn't start leaving the aircraft until 90 seconds later and that's when the fire was spotted outside the plane this is deborah hersman she's the chairwoman of the national transportation safety board after the aircraft came to a stop the cabin manager who was seated in 1l asked the flight attendant who was seated with her in that area to, a, to go to the flight deck and ask the flight crew what to do. The, and it, the, the specific interest was should we evacuate, should we begin an evacuation. The flight crew told the flight attendant not to initiate an evacuation. Peter, how unusual is it for the evacuation not to have been ordered Im immediately? Well, I think people would think under the circumstances, it's very unusual. Of course, the, the entire circumstances surrounding this crash landing are unusual, so there's no norm here. However, you would imagine with such a, a sudden landing, with the tail, as we know from previous comments from officials, the, the tail simply ripped off the plane as it hit the, uh, the wall between the runway and the San Francisco Bay. So there was already a gaping hole in the plane. So I think it will seem to a lot of people very surprising that evacuation didn't start immediately.